In this video, I'll give you a basic understanding of what DS Core is. Uh, to a lot of doctors out there using our products, they say, oh man, Dentsplicerona is making me sign up for another subscription. What is this? Well, I hope you understand from this video at the end that if you have Dentsplicerona technology, it makes a lot of sense for you to have a, a DS Core account. Uh, so you'll see here, this is my demo account. Uh, I've entered the practice screen. This is where we have our profile. Uh, the multiple different users assigned within our office any preferred labs that we like to work with. It also shows our storage of how many files we have saved, uh, the subscriptions and the active service plans that we're on, payment methods that we've assigned, invoices, consents, et cetera. So this is where you go to set up your practice. This is all really important because eventually the uh, Case, Connects, Case Connect Center will go away and everything is gonna go through DS Core. Uh, there's not an exact date to that at this point. Um, but it would be important to be on DS Core at that time. So we've entered uh, one of our demo patient files. You can see here we have some STLs that we could easily share via email, download, uh, delete if we want to manage our storage. Um, you know, you wouldn't have this many files shared for a patient most likely, uh, but this shows us the multiple different files that you could have. Here we have some DI scans. These were taken on one of my typodonts. Um, and you'll see here, this is how you could easily, from any browser in the practice or at home, you can open up that file and view it, rotate it, uh, and kind of examine it. We have the ability to download a many different file types there, you'll see, uh, even directly to ExoCAD. And the ability to create an order. So very similar to the Connect Case Center. Uh, this is where you go in and select what you are trying to do. If it's not listed here, you can still share that file with a lab. And, and give it kind of a prescription of what you are wanting the lab to do for you. So back to our patient file, we're gonna go down a little bit again. One of the huge features is the ability to view 3D scans directly in DS Core. I love this because we're looking at the NPR view. Um, essentially, if you ever wanted to, you wouldn't even need Cydexis 4 installed on all your, all your workstations. Uh, you could open up a browser, go to the patient's file, and do your exam from DS Core. It also gives the ability to view these scans if you are working remote, if you're on vacation. Um, if you need to quickly run through that scan when you're not in the office, you can do that. Also, when you share this scan with any other specialist or dentist that you're referring to, they can open that scan up and view it that same way. So you also have the ability to do something called Canvas. So let's say you have multiple different files that you've taken for that patient. Let's say it's a comb beam, uh, an implant plan that you've created. Um, their file from the prime scan, you could go directly into this, uh, the canvas and view all those at once. 